as a woman, how I want to agree, say, say I marry, finish, your husband say, after many years or a few years, move into the other room, how? What, where, would, where did this question want to start from? How? Welcome to my YouTube channel where you get to watch some awesome lit videos. Yes, it's your girl Lucha Sky and here I'm here again today with another lit topic for the day. So, and remember, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please, pretty please subscribe so that you can get to know when I post another video, a new video, all right? Uh, yeah, that's what it's so on today's um, discussion. Now, before I go into that, how was your day today? Because mine was fine, it was okay. Now, talking about the topic for today. Hmm. So, um, it's a little bit of a trending topic, a trending issue right there, trending issue right there. I don't know how viral it has gone on social media or what, but a lot of young people have been asking questions and research about this. So I want to talk about it. I want to bring it to you so that you are going to tell me what you think. Now, for every married couple, male and female, every married man and woman, I'd like you to leave your comment at the end of this video in the comment section telling me and every other person that is listening what you think because it would be necessary. First off, I'm not married. Yes, I'm not married yet. But uh, we're getting there. Very soon, hopefully very soon, we'll be married very soon. But just before I get married, that's what I, one of the reasons why I want to talk about this topic. And for every single lady out there and man, especially the ladies, is it healthy? for a couple to have separate rooms under the same roof after marriage. Do I have to come again? Is it healthy for a couple to have separate rooms after marriage under the same roof? Like, hello, why, how? It's your problem. We are quarreling. Why did you not marry me if you know you're not gonna sleep in the same room with me? It's not about the bed. It's not about the sex. No. You're not just my husband. When you know you come back from work, I serve you food, and you come to the bedroom, or I come to your bedroom for the night duties, and then I make you breakfast in the morning, do your laundries, and give you kids. No, I don't think it's healthy for me. That's what I think. All right, no sentiments, please, no judging. I'm not married, like I said, but I don't think it is healthy for it why would you want to stay in separate room with your wife what healthy excuse are you going to give how as a woman how i want to agree say say i marry finish your husband say after many years or a few years move into the other room how what well, where would where did this question want to start from how how would you how how does this People that have done it, what is what are the reasons? Is it because at some point the marriage is no longer sweet in you? Like some things are not right as they were when it started? Or is it because of um, too many um, properties, clothes? Because I know we ladies, we can package, we have a lot of bags, shoes, uh, sneakers, slippers, sandals clothes and you know when it comes to each everyone has a uh, different types and different whatever you need it. so if it's because of it please future husband and to every other lady tell your husbands or boyfriends to be or something whoever if it is get a bigger house yeah get a bigger house with enough space you know not from space get a master's bedroom and stay in it or if you don't have that much of a big, your room doesn't have that much of a space and you have more than one room in the house and you know you're not doing any wrong by occupying an, an extra room, instead of sending your wife to that room, what you do, you use that room and do your closet. I think that's a very good thing. I just thought of it right now. Yes. Instead of sending your wife to that room and telling her to go and sleep there, like sending her to 
so that the so we can have separate room because maybe obviously we have more of the properties in the house ladies naturally because we have a lot of things you know with your mindset you have your your makeup square you have your shoe racks your bag racks your glasses your kinds of shoes your clothes and the rest of them it occupies space yes it does no doubt instead of sending her to that room because of space not that you don't have or maybe has is making it look crowdy send all those things to that space because as a couple you need all i mean trust me you may probably you're working she's working Y'all come back at night after dinner, maybe the kids are not there yet or they are there yet. yet. And then after dinner, after having the nice family time with, the, with or without the children, and you go into your bedroom. That is where you two, as one, sit and have your husband and wife talk, the ones you can discuss in front of people. So if you want to uh, come now, nah. honey, it's me. Oh, baby, come in. And then when you're done talking, she'll be like, ah, I'm, really, I'm going to bed. I'm going to, I'm going to my room to sleep. Uh, da, no. That's the time you guys get to talk and do the little crazy nasty things that husband and wife do. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So why send her away? I don't, maybe I'm not using the right word, send her away. Maybe it's, it's, sometimes it's the ladies that want to give have some, their space, but I don't think it's healthy though. It's not. Imagine when you guys are, um, you have a fight, right? It happens in every marriage. So there's a fight and then um, after the argument and fight, everybody goes into their room, the door slams, beeped, beeped, and that's it. And that's it, everybody stays there. She wakes up in the morning, goes to the kitchen, serves breakfast, leaves it on the table for you, walks back into her room, you come back, see breakfast, you eat or you don't eat, you step out, you know? But when you two are in the same room, there is no way you're going to be in the same house, under the same roof, in the same room with this person you love and you poor fighting, even in your heart of hearts, you're going to want to settle that matter. Yes, you're going to be keeping quiet on each other, no, but when you two are together, sleep on the same bed, you sleep and you turn, your hand touches each other. Maybe if the guy is so sweet, even when you're fighting, you're cold, he just cuddles you in and then you sleep. When you, by the time you wake up, everybody starts, continue where they stopped, you know? You're going to be forced to settle that issue. It's not going to be as long as, you know, it's good. I don't, it's not going, it, the, the matter goes short, the fight go reduced, that's what I'm trying to say. They probably go quick stop. But when y'all are in separate rooms, it's gonna take a lot of time for you to come together to settle your issues. It's still not healthy. No relationship that goes without a fight. Yes. At the end of the fight is the sweetest part. You know what I'm talking about. After you fight, they settle um, this thing. The settling part. You know, so please, I hope, I don't, Please, and that's why I said, please, um, let me know what you think. Let us know what you think. A lot of single people watching because the Bible says, and the two becomes one. So how can we become one and we're going to be sleeping in separate rooms? Tell me, how do we become one and sleeping in separate rooms? It doesn't make sense. I don't think it's happening at all. I really don't think it's healthy, guys. So please, if there's ever a thing that is going to make you and your spouse not leave your separate rooms after a while, not stay in the same room together, please try to resolve it. And ladies, as a lady, we have been we have been placed in charge of the homes. You're supposed to run the home, make sure it stays. Um, no matter what is going on no matter what it is you're supposed to until you're very definitely over sure and confirm that you can deal with it but uh, we hope you never get there these days yeah we hope you don't but you try 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 don't just move out of your husband's room that is how you enjoy the marriage more you know but yeah yeah it's not don't, don't walk it out don't let it happen walk, walk it out because I intend to work mine out, because, no, come on, 
we are husband and wife. We're supposed to stay in the same room. Sometimes eat dinner in our room on the bed, and when you're done, just drop the plate by the side, go back to the bed. Like you know, it's not as if it doesn't make you lazy or dirty. It's just sometimes you know some extra curriculum activities that couple do just to spice the relationship up or make it look like I don't know how to put it. It's not uh, there's no rule book for marriage. And there's nothing that says a man should not sleep in the same room with his wife. Uh, even after 10 years of marriage, even after 25 years of marriage. No. By then you would have had kids that are grown-ups, you know, pretty much adults and teenagers. So it still doesn't mean you might not be doing the baby making dance anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I saw that thing in the movie, baby making dance. You might, you guys might not be into sex anymore, but you're still a couple. You're still a husband and wife. You are a mom and a dad. You know, that's the sweetness of marriage. Supposed sweet last last when you don't old. Don't be when you. The better part of marriage should be when it's young and when it's old. And we sh we need to start working on when it gets old and not just on when it's young. So guys, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Please, as you're watching this video, tell me your honest truth. What do you think about this? As a man, as a woman, married or single, let us know what you think, especially the married ones. Please give us a very honest um, comment and sort of advice for the single ones. And also, please let me remember. God, I just, did I just say remember? Okay. Remember to like, share, and please subscribe. Do subscribe because we're going to be talking about a lot more interesting things like this and more. And also in the comment section, if there's anything you want us, to, you want me to talk about to throw more light on, let me know. Put it down in the comment section and like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. Love you guys. Bye.